Dean, thank you so much for chatting to us. No worries. Has it been a good year in Rafa? Yeah, the Rafa Condor Sharp team's had a great year. Starting off here in South Africa with the, the Tour of South Africa, Christian House winning. That was a brilliant start and a great team effort, really, to hold on to the jersey. And then, yeah, we went into the summer with uh, high hopes for lots of races, big races in Europe where Zach Dempster had a couple of wins. Uh, and uh, we won quite a lot of criteriums. Ed Clancy, myself, uh, Graham Briggs won the National Crit Champs uh, this year, which was which was really good. Sadly, he's moved on now. He's uh, he's defected to another team. So, uh, but I'm looking forward to next year with uh, with the team. The team's made some massive changes for next year. They're keeping on half of the experienced guys and bringing mm. on some youth. What's your thoughts on that? It's really good, uh, a really good decision. Yeah, I mean, I spoke to John Herity quite at length uh, towards the end of the season. He was telling me the plans of the sponsors, really, because obviously they're they're in charge of the team. They want to get out of it what you know for their companies what they want to do. And um, I think Sharp Technology they want they've been a really big driving force in the the younger team. So luckily I've uh, got got a start for next year. And I think myself, Christian, and James McCallum are going to be mentoring some of the youngsters. So. I, I'm not sure of all of the ages, but I know there's two 18, 19 year olds, so that's half my age, so I'm going to be the, the old man of the team. But I'm looking forward to it, to doing mentoring and passing on some cycling experiences, and maybe a little bit of coaching and things like that. So, I mean, you mentioned John Herity to anyone and you can't find a bad word about him. Do you think he's going to be really good in with his experience in just helping the younger guys along as well, coming yeah. through the ranks? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, I. One of the reasons why I've stayed with this team for so long, this is going to be my sixth or seventh year with the team, within the original 2007 setup. So, and uh, then John came in 2008. One of the main reasons to stay is because John is so good at what he does, and he looks after his riders uh, in the good times and the bad times. You know, some of us have had crashes and stuff like that, and he's, he looks after you really well. So he'll, he'll take care of the youngsters. Uh, he'll pull them in line if they step out of line, etc. But. Um, He's got so much experience. He had good experience as a pro rider, but he's actually been uh, a manager long, far longer than he was ever a pro rider. So uh, he's got experience on the Great Britain national team, uh, ladies teams managing them, and also our team now. So he's a great manager and uh, he's a great, he's a great people person as well. So he looks after all the riders. And in teams, there's so many different characters of riders that uh, can sometimes be difficult, but he. Pulls everybody in and uh, everybody works for the same goal, i.e. winning races. So. And finally, how do you feel about Russell, your brother, leaving Sky, going to Enduro Racing? You'll maybe get to race a little more against him next year. How do you feel about him? I'm happy he's left Sky because they, they, they treated him really well in the first year. They didn't treat him very well in the second year. He had a tough time with his crash in the Giro. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm happy for him to, to get a a good team in Enduro because they've been one of our rivals for a good few years now but they've stepped up the last uh, this season they've stepped up in Europe they've got some they've had some really serious good race program uh, a bit in America as well where Jack Bauer won the stage of the Tour of Utah so they're not doing any uh, they're doing some big races so hopefully Russell will be in them all the time and he won't come back to the UK for the crit so often